Yes. If you want to <laughs> second it, you don't mind. Okay, so am I here? Okay. Uh, so we're going to be talking about simplifying expressions with that problem. Uh, so first, let's get some vocab out of the way. The, this big number right here is called the base, and that's what number we're multiplying. And the exponent right up there is how many times we're multiplying it. And by the way, does anyone know how to read that? Thank you. Yeah, uh, seven cubed or seven to the third. Seven cubed, yeah, there's a few different ways, right? Seven cubed, seven to the third, seven to the power of three, all of those mean the same thing. It just means we're multiplying it seven, three times, seven times, seven times, seven. So the first thing we're going to look at is uh, multiply numbers with the same base with different exponents. So let's say we have something like this, right? x to the third plus, or times x squared. So let's think about it like this and put in numbers that we already know, right? So, because x's are variables are real numbers, we just don't know what they are yet. So let's say we have third x squared. But let's put it with twos since we know twos. Those are comfortable numbers. Okay, does anyone know what two cubed is? Hey, right? And two squared? You can just say it. Four. 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 Right. <laughs> and then eight times four, we all know that, right? Okay, does anyone know two to what power equals 32? Anyone want to take a guess? You just multiply two, you see it's 32, right? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, right? So these two to the fifth power. Can you see that side right over here? Yeah. Okay. So another way we can think about this is 2 to the third power. Well, that's just 2 times 2 times 2, right? And we're multiplying it by 2 squared, which is just 2 times 2. So really what we're doing is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times two, times two which again is 2 to the fifth power. So if you notice, what we're really doing is we're just adding these exponents, and that'll get us five, all right? So if we look over here, we don't know what these numbers are, but we can add these exponents, and that'll give us a, simple, or a simplified answer. So that gives us our first, uh, um, oh wait, let me just copy this. Two to the fifth, x fifth, and that gives us our multiplication. A to the x, times uh, a to the y equals a to the x plus y. That's a bad y. <laughs> okay. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is dividing numbers with the same base with different exponents. So let's say we have something like x to the fourth over x squared, right? So again, we can try and put in real numbers and see what we get. So let's do three to the fourth uh, over three squared. So three to the fourth power, does anyone know that? 81. 81, right? And three squared? Nine, nine right? And 81 over nine? nine? Just nine, right? Or we can write that as three to the second power, right? And again, we can do it like this too. 3 to the 4th power is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that's over 3 times 3. So when we have numbers that have been multiplied by the top and the bottom, well, 3 over 3, that's just 1, right? So you can cross that out. And 3 over 3, that's just 1, so you can cross that out. So what we're left with is just 2 squared. So what we're doing for this one is we're just subtracting these exponents. So we don't know what these numbers are, but we just do 4 minus 2 we get x squared. And that gives us our division rule. So that is a to the x over a to the y equals a to the x minus y. Okay. All right, next, uh, exponent to the power of another exponent. So that's something like that. So we have uh, six x cubed squared. So remember, when we're doing exponents, what we're doing is like we had two squared. That just means we're doing two times two, right? So if we're doing this to the power of two, that just means we're multiplying within the parentheses by itself. So we would have six x to the third 
time is exciting to the third. So what we will be doing here is multiplying these two numbers first, which is 36. And remember what we said about multiplication rule. We multiply uh, numbers with the same base with different exponents. That's our, uh, that's our multiplication rule, right? So we do 3 plus 3, and then x to the 6. So with the multiplication rule, what we do is the number that's outside the exponent that's outside the parentheses, we distribute that to the number. We distribute it to every term. So to the 6 and to the x third. So that gives us our power of power rule, which is just a to the x y equals a to the x times y. All right, power of fraction. So let's say we have something like x over uh, 2 squared. Do you remember what we do when we multiply fractions? How we multiply fractions? Copy dot Sorry? Is it copy dot split? Or is that dividing? Oh, that's dividing. Okay. Yeah. But it's. Yeah. Is that the last thing? Not there, that. Is like on a No, no, so, okay. When you, when you write it like this, and then maybe this will help. Obviously, I'm not very good at math. I'm not asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what we're multiplying out, right? Is that within the parentheses we're going to multiply it three times. What if I wrote something like 1 over 2 times 3 over 4? Would anyone know how to do that? You just multiply across. Just start? Multiply across. Yeah, you just multiply across, right? 1 times 3, 2 times 4. So we're going to do that over here with the three fractions that we have. So x times x times x, so that's x to the third, right? And then 2 squared times 2 squared times 2 squared. Well, remember what we said about adding the exponents, right? For the multiplication rule, same base. This time we have the same exponent, but 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 6. So that's what we get. So for the multiplication or the power of a fraction rule, we would just distribute that, that exponent to this top number and the bottom number. So that's the end. That gives us the power of refraction rule, which is just a over uh, x equals a to the x over b to the x. All right, we're almost done, I promise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next, does anyone know what uh, anything to the power of zero is? One, one. It's one, right? So, the way to think about that, if you run across something like this, you don't know how to simplify it. Well, think about if we had something like x over x to the fourth over x to the fourth. Well, if we use our our division rule, we would just subtract these exponents, right? And we'd be left with x to the zero power. But we also know that for fractions, anything over itself, like two over two, five over five, that all equals one, right? So we could also just simplify this and put one. And that's how we get x to the zero equals one. So that gives us our next one which is just an easy one, a to the zero equals one. So if you're ever left with that, uh, an expression or something, just simplify that to one. Okay, I think this is the last one. Uh, some negative exponents. So if we have something like, x to the negative third. So we have a division problem, for example, and the number on the top is smaller than the number on the bottom. So we put out x to the, first and x to the fourth. Well, if we do our subtraction rule that we got from the, or that multiplication rule, sorry, we would subtract those, those exponents, right? And one minus four, x to negative three. So how do we simplify that? Because x to negative three looks a little, a little funky, right? So what we could do is x, let's just say x, x to the first power plus x. At the bottom, we could do x times x times x times x. And remember, when something's being multiplied on the top and the bottom, we can just cancel those out. So on the top, we would just be left with the 1, because we got rid of that x. And on the bottom, we'd be left with x times x times x, which is just x to the third, right? 
So when we have a negative exponent, all we do is put it one over that and make that exponent uh, positive. And that gives us the negative exponent rule. Uh, a to the negative x equals one over a to the positive x. All right, and there are all the rules, and I'll leave those up to for you guys while you're doing homework. But so next chapter, we'll be going into some more complex things where we have to do all of these kinds at the same time. But for now, we'll just leave it there.